were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. So, Gemini, we have Animal Guardian, Earth Mother. So, right now, you could be... It says, trust your instincts. Animals around you also could be kind of speaking to you. I don't know. You look up in the sky, you see an eagle, you see a hawk. I don't know. You look on the ground... Uh, you see a caterpillar, you see in the sky a butterfly. I don't know, it could be speaking to you. Trust your instincts. It's like everything in the universe is really trying to speak to you about where you need to be, where you're going, what's around you, or what surrounds you. Hmm. So, uh, the universe could be trying to speak to you using animals. Okay. And then when you see these specific animals, just go ahead and look it up. What does it mean to see? Or constantly see a deer or a caterpillar or a butter or butterflies or whatnot. So um, maybe so that you can then kind of tap in, you know, hone in on what that means for you, your skills, right? There's also like Earth Mother. I don't know. Right now you could, something could be going on with your mother if she's still here in the earth. Some of you lost your mother and, um, you know, that's a tough thing. Um, it says that your mom's presence energy is still around you. The, the universe, this, you know, earth is, is um, comforting you, holding you, giving you love. You know, at those times when you feel like you just don't have anybody. The memory is still there. It never dies is what I'm hearing. And then also, some of you could work with animals. You could work with the earth. You could be like um, with some type of team, conserv conservationist, conserv I don't know. I don't know. It's like you're trying to conserve something. I don't know. It could be working with, yeah, you're trying to, I don't know, resources, renewable resources. I don't know. You could be working with, you know, uh, in regards to the world and doing something about, you know, trying to conserve or conserve energy or uh, renew renewable sources. Uh, you could be on the front lines of something. You could be the, an advocate for you can have small children and you're trying to advocate for your children in regards to a mother. Um, somebody could be holding the children from you or someone could be pregnant at this time, Gemini. All right. Um, you're trusting your instincts in terms of maybe you know that somebody is pregnant or they have someone else or that they want to be pregnant or they... This is interesting energy. It's like... Um, Maybe that you're pregnant or you want to get pregnant or somebody's wanting you to get pregnant. Let's see what's going on here for Gemini. Yes. 
get a yes with the exclamation point. So it really means something here. Let's see. We'll clarify what that yes answer is. And what else do we have for Gemini? Perfect timing. Yeah. So this is the perfect timing for you to, so maybe this around this time of the year, holiday season coming in for those who live in the United States, um, maybe you start to feel the void of maybe a mother passing or a mother figure passing, or some of you don't have children or you're an empty nester. Um, so you, you're wanting to comfort something. You want to have that, um, you want to care for nurture something okay your instincts your motherly instinct has kicked in or is kicking in in regards to maybe your own children or maybe just wanting to become pregnant we have yes and perfect timing let's see what's happening here for you gemini let's clarify the yes whatever you're asking it says yes it's a definite as uh yes with the uh, exclamation point Two of cups coming in for you. Yes, um, there will be. You'll have someone or you'll... What is the two of cups? This could even be spirit. Oh, this could be like a new spiritual practice trying to talk to you using the animals. Okay, and trying to get you to trust your instincts. What you are feeling, what you know to be true is true. Or there's some truth there. Where there is smoke, there is fire. What is going on here for Gemini? Yeah, the um, Knight of Cups. Definitely spirit speaking to you here. Oh, and this is Page of Cups. So this is you developing your clairvoyance. Listen, so you're developing how to commune with divinity, with the universe, with God, with angels, with your spirit guides, with your guardian angels. So you're developing your clairvoyance here. And maybe that's where you're getting in like an influx of, okay, I walked outside and all these birds started flying around me or just, you know, there was an uproar. I don't know. It's like the universe is really trying to speak to you in regards to trust your instincts, trust your, um, trust the vibration. Okay. Um, also, some of you want to be pregnant, you want to get pregnant, you want to start something, you want to put something out there to the world. It's going to come in perfect timing. I'm getting like, I don't know, the holiday season is definitely a big deal for you, you know. It's a time where maybe there's depression, especially if there, if you have suffered loss. All right, uh, Earth Mother and perfect timing. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. So this will be a time where um, you'll give or you'll want to give or you'll want to get back or you'll want to be around family um, power dynamic shift. So maybe you felt powerful all year and then the holiday season comes or something comes around and you just don't feel yourself or you feel like a low, a low vibration with the six of pentacles. The power dynamic has shifted. There could also be maybe somebody giving to you. You could... You could become pregnant maybe around the holiday season. I don't know. What is this? Six of Pentacles in perfect timing. So it talks about sharing. It talks about give and take. What is this for Gemini? The death card. Okay. So some of you have dealt with loss. This could be a time where you just, you know, your mom could be gone. And I don't know. It just, it just doesn't, you, you try to mitigate these circumstances. And you try to get through it the best as you can uh, with the death card coming out. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Someone could come back to you, give you a gift. Maybe to tell you how they feel about you. Or just to show some gratitude towards you. What is this about for Gemini? Yeah, the, the, okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely perfect timing. It could be like a soulmate coming back, giving a gift to you, maybe around holiday season, or maybe wanting to relive, revive, bring back from the dead a relationship. Maybe you cut it off. They cut it off with you. There's someone coming back. There's been like a leave of absence, and then someone's going to resurface change or change your mind or the coming back changed or they want some type of change with you let's see one last card for Gemini here 
You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, the Two of Pentacles. So they want to come back and show you that change has happened um, or change is happening. Intuitive awareness, though. It's funny because, I don't know, this person could be like, they have an idea in mind of what they want to happen with you. Maybe get you pregnant or or they have like a an idea. They haven't really birthed the idea or this is you. This is the universe aligning things so you can take action so that you can bring your ideas, your yeah, your ideas, your dreams to life. Um, so things aligning for you. The two of pentacles, it says, you know, there's you could be doing a lot. Everything is still up in the air. You're not sure if you trust if there has been change, enough change with a certain someone. It was like you were trying to really sever the ties with this old out, outdated relationship. The loyalty that you had given this year. The devil card. Yeah, you're just not sure. It could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, you're not sure. You're not sure that um, if this is for you. You Something about making the wrong decision. You don't want karma or another entanglement. And you have to get yourself out of this. It's like you're trying to be healthy or do something healthy. Whether it's in relationships or it's just in your physical health. Uh, one card for Gemini as we close this out. Maybe this will help you in terms of what to focus on. If it resonated, let me know how it resonated for you. Yeah, having an affair with a co-worker. Okay, so uh, maybe you try to let something go. You don't want to do this anymore. It's an affair. Laissez affair. I don't know. Laissez faire. I don't know why that came to me. Uh, maybe you know what it means. Um, so something that was just, you know, it had an eventual end date to it. This was not going to be longevity. Maybe there was somebody who already was in a real a relationship and they want to come back to you and you could feel it. Um, they want you. They want to have an affair with you. Um, they don't. That's all they really want. This is what you want. Someone could be holding back their feelings because I don't know how to express myself. I also want you to chase me, game. So somebody's coming back with the game. So they want you to chase them. This is what's coming out for you, Gemini. You could be feeling that that somebody wants to bring something back from the dead, but they're also not offering much, but just a laissez of Fair, laissez faire, or um, the the devil card, just more so, more sex, fun, drugs, rock and roll, playfulness, childishness. They don't want anything serious with you. You could just be an affair to them, something to do, or this is how you're looking at someone. This is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, yeah, there's somebody trying to come back, right? Oh, so they want to start a new cycle with you. It could have ended. You ended it. They ended it. And now they're coming back around full circle. The perfect time. And so they feel like all, all we had to do was take a break. And then I can come back in with this energy of, you know, let's get it started again. Let's start it back up. It was unhealthy for you because you weren't getting what you wanted. The universe is trying to speak to you about going in a new direction new capacity letting something new develop for you um maybe a new spiritual walk this is what i have for you get your own personal reading readings are 40 percent off use code 40 off at checkout catch me live every tuesday and thursday uh 9 30 p.m eastern standard time um join the ktng keep the momentum going monthly conference call where you get some phenomenal uh, practical and spiritual advice as to how to start, maintain, or grow your business. Shout out to LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, Houston, Atlanta, Alabama, Philadelphia, uh, Florida. Though I have high viewership in those places, so thank you. Um, take care. Many blessings to you.